Hello everyone, Super Rando Bros here, and today we're going to take a look at Marvel Legends, Howard the Duck, Classic Loki, and He Who Remains from the Khonshu Build-A-Figure Wave. Now, take a look at the packaging for Howard the Duck. It's your typical Marvel Legends series packaging, but it is themed to what if. And honestly, I really like these windowless packages. Yeah, I know there are some issues with them, which I'll get into in a little bit. But overall, I just really like these boxes. I think they look better without the window than with the window. Now, take a look at the actual figure for accessories. He does come with Scott Lang's head from the What If Zombies episode. I don't think Howard the Duck actually appeared in that episode, but still a nice accessory to have. As well as Khonshu's torso, which looks really good. I'm really excited to complete this figure. It just looks really cool and take a look at the actual figure. He's fine I don't think he is worth the price sculpt wise He looks really accurate to the what if version of him and it just looks really nice I really like the way this looks the sculpt looks great and the paint is really good There's no real paint errors on this figure, but overall it just looks really really good the articulation on him is fine I wish there was some more Articulation especially at the legs because there's no articulation at the legs So you really can't get him into that many nice poses because he's just gonna be standing in there. Now taking a look at classic Loki for the packaging, it's your typical Marvel Legends series packaging but themed to the Loki TV show. For accessories, he does come with alternative face, multiple effect parts including these really nice hand effect pieces which I wish the paint was a bit better on, as well as Khonshu's leg. I don't really know what else to add here, it's Khonshu's leg. But taking a look at the actual figure, he looks really nice, the sculpt is really good, it looks just like a live action version of classic Loki which is what we got in the show. He just looks really nice, the only real issue I had with the sculpt is the cape is a bit too heavy so he falls down pretty easily which sucks when you're trying to pose him and the paint is also pretty good as well there's not a lot of paint here but for what there is is pretty good there's a lot of weathering details throughout the figure and it just looks so good now his articulation is pretty good there's some areas that I wish weren't so tight like the arm joints are tight on my figure and also his knees were a bit tight out of the packaging which is fine you could just move it around and loosen it up it's really fun to pose but unfortunately the cape is just a bit too heavy it limits the articulation and he falls over a lot Now the last figure we have to take a look at is He Who Remains. Now take a look at the packaging, it's your typical Marvel Legends series packaging, but themed to the Loki TV show. Now this is where I should probably talk about some issues I have with this new packaging. Now of course there's some other issues like, oh, sometimes the figure might not be there. Big issue I have is that you can't see if the accessories are in there. Now this isn't my first copy of this figure, this is actually my second one. My first one didn't come with his accessories. He didn't come with the apple or Conchu's head, but for accessories, he comes with an apple, not that big of a deal, and Conchu's head which looks really nice. Take a look at the actual figure. This figure has to be my favorite out of all three. The sculpt looks really good and really accurate to what he looks like in the show. And the paint, though there isn't a lot, looks really good. My favorite part is definitely this little thing he has on his hand. I don't really know exactly what it is. I don't think he used it in the show. It looks really nice and really well detailed, which is something you don't really see that often on a Marvel Legends figure, just like really small details that look really nice. Now, take a look at his articulation. It's fine, but I wish there was more. Obviously, the coat and some extra clothing definitely limits the articulation. Honestly, not that big of a deal that he doesn't have as much articulation as I want to because he still looks really nice. He just looks really nice. And now let's take a look at size comparisons. So overall, I really like these figures. They all look great and have their own thing that makes them so good. My favorite one is He Who Remains. So overall, I highly recommend you get all these figures, especially if you want to build Ganshu, but be careful because your accessories might not be there.